this one, y'all. I'm not taking it easy, y'all. Here we go. Five, six, seven. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey. There you go. Oh. Tradition at the count yes, of three, yes. we all sit down and we scream. Wah. One, two, three. Wah. 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 Yes. Wah. 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 I gotta tell you, which side dances better, the Mexican side or the Puerto Rican side? Oh man, you know what? It depends, man. Cause when it comes to the merengue, my Puerto Rican side just like comes out. But then the Mexican side, we got you know we got the, the mariachi music. But <laughs> I grew up, I grew up like you know pop locking. My father was a, a break dancer, so I grew up dancing I can with see him that. as a kid. Wow. So yeah. I was yeah. just gonna yes. ask you if you could break dance. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, not, well, not, not right, right now. exactly right now. But I grew up as a kid doing it. But and you then, can. Yes, cool. yes, yes. And then. When I was in high school, I broke my collarbone playing football, so I stopped doing it for a little while, and then just over the last couple years, getting back into it, so. Nice. Yeah. You got the whole package there with the dancing skills. Oh, thank thank you. You. I'm uh, liking uh, that. I was going to say something about this package, but <laughs> uh, I'll <laughs> uh, I love this show already. I love oh it. I love it. Oh, my God, you guys. Carlito, uh, did your anyway. package move when you found out you were going to be her love interest on the show? I mean, well, my package was excited the whole time. It's just like, oh, <laughs> method acting to its finest. So, you know, we, had to, yes. we had to give, give the fans what they've been looking for. Thank uh, you. Eddie's been too much of a good boy as far as, far as like, last season. He took her to a hotel. She gave him blue balls. Nothing Ooh. happened. She didn't put out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, Talk about friends. You know what it is for a sixteen-year-old you know yeah. to spend eighty-five dollars on a room plus Wi-Fi? <laughs> Come on, I'm telling you. <laughs> that was a lot of money. Wi-Fi. Yeah. You know, that, that, I, I invested $85 in you, and that McDonald's, those refills, that counts. So that something counts. better happen to yeah, me. Netflix and chill cost money these days. Yeah, right. Netflix and chill. Right we're up. going on a date. Well, Netflix is $34.99 a month. <laughs> oh. um, electricity Damn. is about 100 a month. So you know what? That's your date right there. You coming over. That's why I do Hulu, honey. It's way cheaper. Thank you. Oh, okay. uh, yes, yes, Hulu. That's yes, yes, why so. we have Hulu. Thank exactly. Shout out to Hulu. Now, Carlito, I think one of the most interesting things about you that I found out yesterday while doing research, you were homeless when you were yeah. when you moved to LA. Yeah, when I first came out to LA. So, um, you know, I'm I'm born and raised in Chicago. Okay. And uh, you know, usually where I'm from, where when you're in Chicago, you don't get out of Chicago unless okay. you have something that takes you out of there. So I was 17 years old. Um, I started off in the music industry. Mm -hmm. um, I was in this band called Menudo. Um, oh I'm yeah. Sure you were in Menudo. Yeah. Yes, MTV07. Yes, yes, and uh, <laughs> so I was in the group, uh, and I, you know, I was signed to Sony Epic Records for a few years, and then after that, um, I relocated to New York with an ex-girlfriend of mine, mm -hmm. and uh, she was the actress at the time. Okay. Um, she, I, I went in with her to, uh, to pick up an, a check from the agency, and her agent was like, hey, I'm gonna send you to an audition. My first audition ever was a Starbucks commercial, and I booked it. Okay. From there, I used that money to relocate to LA to pursue music and acting and all this stuff, and then, Times got rough, times got hard, mm. and the money winded down, and I didn't have anywhere to live. I was literally hopping from house to house, sleeping in my car, wow. pulling out a cot, sleeping next to the, you know, the car, staying in motels, wow. you know, lying to my mom that I got a place. And really? finally, I, I got a job at Starbucks for a few years. Okay. And so as I'm there, there's literally fans coming and saying, oh my God, Carlito, can I have an autograph? I'm like, you want some whipped cream on your mocha <laughs> frappuccino? <laughs> I, you know, I'm like, hey. I love but, you already. <laughs> but for, you know, for me, I was like, you know, I honestly would probably, because I'm a, I'm a super huge like Chris Brown fan. Like okay. ever since like, I was a kid, I've always been a fan of Chris Brown. Um, to me, I think it's admirable to go and see your favorite artist, you know, working because at the same time, he's got to survive. He's got to provide for himself and nobody's taking care of me. Right. So yes. I had to do that. And once I finally got my job at Starbucks, I was there for a few years. Then the whole X Factor thing happened. Mm. And then I started booking more films and more TV shows. And then music and acting kind of just hit the same level, wow. and then I just been I just been running with it, you know. So, yeah. Listen, I think. Wow! Congrats! I yeah. love yeah. to hear yeah. that Thank story. You. It's beautiful. And by the way, so and people that are working baristas, like you're the yeah. inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> now, Thank you. For exactly. Latinos, you know, 
I remember when I first started getting into the media and it, a lot of opportunities for Latinos, whether it was in front of the camera, like mm -hmm. we're doing hosting or acting, they yeah. were very limited. Mm -hmm. Yes. But now are you seeing things change, especially with a show like Islos High, which the entire cast, you know, is pretty much Latino or mm -hmm. Latino. Yeah, um, well, you know what? Like, what I like to tell people all the time is the odds of us becoming the face of the next Superman is slim to none. Not because we can't mm -hmm. do it, because we need that platform to actually show people, like let's just say George Lopez or Jennifer Lopez want to produce a next film, the next big thing, and they're looking for these young Latin actors. It's a small world. So they'll be like, oh, there really isn't. No, well, actually, there's this show called East Los High, right. and it's killing. It's yeah. the number one show on Hulu. Make sure you go check it out. No. Like, oh. yes. And, no. you know, and I feel like they would see all these, all these actors, and I feel like East Los High is definitely a platform in a sense of, like, Freaks and Geeks, The Breakfast Club, mm -hmm. The Mickey Mouse yeah. House, like, each and every single one of these actors on this show, we all do so many different things, and you know that we're gonna be around for a while, so I feel like we needed this platform, and we need to show people that the talent has been here the whole time. It's just unfortunate for you, you never really wanted to open your eyes, but now, regardless yeah. if you want to or not, we're, we're in your face. Yeah. So. You're setting a great That's example, awesome. too. Yeah, That's thank awesome. you. Yeah. Thank do you, you guys get intimidated because every season of the show, you get bigger and bigger stars. It was Christina Milian, yeah. now it's Prince Royce. How do you guys handle all that? Um, I, I mean, it's, uh, I, not really. I don't get it's nervous. So, we have so much fun. Yeah. Like, I say this all the time. We're such a big family that, that it's just like, it's not work. Okay. Yeah. And everyone that yeah. joins the cast is so cool. And everybody that's like currently in the cast is so, we're just all really cool people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of so being cool with each other, before the kissing scene with yeah. each other, did you guys have a talk and say, hey, oh. you know, like, is there preparation and say, you know, this is going to be, or did you guys just go with it? No, or I do think, you rehearse it? Uh, no, you know what? <laughs> Actually, uh, I think um, what made it so natural is like we didn't talk about it at all. I, I've known Alex for a few years yeah. now, for a while. So it was actually amazing. Like a long time. A long time. A long time. Probably like six years probably have known her. So um, she was on X Factor as well with me. Yeah, we were um, on the same season. Yeah, same wow. season. So, um, uh, you know, once I knew that she was playing the role, it was actually like, okay, I, I, I can't be, I, I have nothing to be nervous about because I actually know her. And when the actual kissing scene started, <laughs> we just went into it. We just made it happen. And Do uh, you guys mind practicing a kissing <laughs> scene for us right here on stage? Well, <laughs> you learn how to do this in case we ever enter the telenovela I business. Excuse me. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, it's never like, uh, oh my god, I'm 100% comfortable. It's never gonna be that way. But yeah. if you were already like your friends, we, I've known him for so long that mm -hmm. it was just like, it's not like somebody I don't know that I don't know. Like, I don't yeah. know. You never know how people can be. But me do you guys have boyfriends and girlfriends? Yes, yes. You're I, in I a relationship. Yes, yes. And are you in a relationship? I'm single. Okay, so was it hard for your girlfriend to know oh, that you were gonna yes. be? <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah. Oh I was dating oh, somebody man. while we were shooting too. He just didn't want to know about it. He yeah. didn't mind it, but he was just like, you don't have to tell but me. But I think yet. when you're dating an actor, <laughs> it's a <laughs> given. I mean, yeah, it's something it that you know yeah. exactly up front yeah. and you kind of have to deal with it. No? By the way, my yeah. fiance wants to come here and meet you and just talk to you and make sure that everything's kosher and put <laughs> on a okay? There's no funny business. Sorry, babe, I didn't mean to. By the way, excited. Go ahead. Oh, look, we got we gotta go, but yeah. I, on the way out, I want you to do a few steps for us to the commercial. And you guys, watch East Los High. They're amazing. Watch. They're gonna steal the show this season. Hulu, go, go check it out. We're, yeah, we're gonna seasons too. Damn right. You better go check <laughs> it out. Throw a Hulu. Let's go. Rock Let's steady. Do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.